Hey everyone, I'd like to talk to you about aspect ratios. Can I do that? Can I have a minute or two or 13 of your time? Why do we need to know about aspect ratio? Well, there are many reasons. I need to figure out how to calculate my image size and how to fit a display or a screen in a given physical constraint and calculate the physical space that display or screen will occupy. I need to know how to calculate width to height to diagonal to help me figure out what the unknown measurements are when given one measurement and a ratio. And I need to be able to figure out what aspect ratio a particular resolution is to ensure I specify the correct display or screen for that resolution that's being utilized. Aspect ratio math is just another tool that AV professionals need to keep in their bag of tricks. This will aid us in selecting the appropriate displays for our clients' sources and for their environment. When I say aspect ratio, what exactly do I mean? I'm talking about the ratio of the height to the width or the proportion of the height to the width. The size of our image might need to be bigger or smaller, but the general shape of the screen remains the same. And the proportion of the height to the width will stay the same. Many of our displays nowadays have a fixed aspect ratio. 4, 3, 16 by 9, or 16 by 10. Sometimes, we have displays like projector blended walls or LED panel walls that have some aspect ratios that are really different. But for now, let's just keep it to the three most common ones. So how do I figure out what these ratios are? To figure out some of our most common aspect ratios, we just need to do a little math. I'm going to hand this off to Tom Kerr. Well, not the real Tom Kerr, but cartoon Tom Kerr to talk about how to do aspect ratio math. Take it away, Cartoon Tom. Well, we can recognize aspect ratios as like 1.78 to 1, 1.33 to 1, and various numbers like that. 1.78 is actually a rounded number. 1.33 is a rounded number. So if we try and use those numbers when we do our actual aspect ratio math calculations, we can have rounding errors. So instead of using 1.78 to 1, 1.3 to 1, those numbers, we're actually going to do proportions and do the cross multiply and divide for our solutions. So when we're doing proportions, we're going to do width is to height as width is to height. And on one side of this, we're going to use our actual aspect ratios. And on the other side of this, we're going to use our actual dimensions. So let's say, for example, I've got a 16.9 that is 61 inches wide. So I say it's a 16.9. 16 by 9 equals, and I said it was 61 inches wide. And what we're trying to solve for is the height. So I'm going to put x there for a variable. And to solve this, we cross multiply and divide. So I'm going to cross multiply here. So 16 times x equals 9 times 61. Let's do the 9 times 61. That gets us 549. So 16 times x. And we're trying to get x by itself. Now, it may be a long time since you've done these kinds of things. How do I get x by itself? Well, I'm going to take the 16 divided by x. I'm going to take 16 and divide by 16. And we would know that 16 divided by 16 is going to equal 1, and then 1 times x would just equal x, or put x by itself. Well, there's an equal sign here in the middle. So whatever I do to one side of the calculation, or one side of the equation, I must also do to the other side. So if I've divided by 16 on this side, I must also divide by 16 on this side. So that's going to give me 549 divided by 16. So 549 divided by 16. So that's going to be 34.3125. Remember, the 1 times x is just going to be x. So we can say that the height 
of this 16.9. It's 61 inches wide. It's going to be about 34.3 inches tall. And we'll do this for all of our aspect ratio calculations. Okay, so we've done some aspect ratio math where we've taken the width and related that to the height, and you can go back and forth. What about the diagonal relationship? We've got displays that are measured in diagonals. Well, let's find out what the diagonal proportion would be on some of our various aspect ratios. And the way we find out the diagonal proportion is actually using the Pythagorean theorem. So if I have a 16 by 9, 16 units wide, 9 units high, we've got a triangle here. And we're going to apply Pyth Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared is going to get us the ratio of the diagonal equaling c squared. So we know that uh, Pythagorean a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And let's fill this in. 16 squared plus 9 squared equals c squared. So we can go 16. Here's our square button. And I'll break this out step by step to begin with. That is 256. And then 9 squared, that's going to be 81 equals c squared. So 256 plus 80, whoops, delete key, 81, 337 equals c squared. Well, I need c by itself. How do I get rid of the square? Well, the way to get rid of the square is take the square root. So I'm going to apply the square root to c squared. That's going to give me c by itself. And again, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must also do to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to take the square root of 337. So to, I'll clear all this out. To do the square root, this is the square root key here, the little green looking feature. And to get into that, I hit the second key and then the square root function opens up the parentheses for me, 337, and then I can hit the enter key. And this tells me that the relationship, 18.357555975. That's a lot of numbers. Practically speaking, although we don't round off some of the other numbers like the 1.78, 1.33, those kind of throw us off. Practically speaking, for what we're doing, we can get close enough if we just say it's 18.36. So, my 16 by 9 is actually a 16 by 9 by 18.36. Those would be the relationships. 16 by 9 by 18.36 in a 16.9 display. Let's do another one. And let's say this time the diagonal dimension of the display is 90 inches. And I want to discover both the width and the height. So we know 18.36 is to 16. My diagonal is to my width. So 18.36 is to 16, and I know the diagonal dimension. That's going to be 90 inches. What I don't know is the width, so we put x there. We know this is going to be cross, multiply, and divide, and I could break this out step by step. But what I know is I'm going to multiply 16 times 90 and then divide that by 18.36. So I can enter that into the calculator, 16 times 90, and then divide that by 18.36 hit the enter key, and I'm going to discover that the width of the display, 78, I'm going to round this, you can see the rest of it, but basically it's 78.4 inches wide. I'm going to need to know this dimension because that's going to relate to our closest viewer in a BDM or basic decision making application. Let's discover what the height is to this. So again, 18.36 is to the height and I know it's 90 inches in diagonal, and we're going to discover what the height is. So again, cross, multiply, and divide. 9 times 90 divided by 18.36. So 9 times 90 divided by 18.36 gives us a height of basically 44.1 inches. The 44.1 inches gives me my image height, and now I can use that when I start doing my furthest viewer calculations in a BDM or basic decision making application. So just based on the diagonal, I can get my width for closest viewer calculations, and I can get my height for farthest viewer calculations. Um, let's do this in a practical example. 
Well, I've done all the image size calculations and I discover that, and I'm doing this kind of in reverse, and I've discovered that I need an image that is at least 44 inches high. Okay? So I need an image, and let's say it's still 16.9. 16.9. And those are my ratios, and I need an image that is at least 44 inches high. Let's discover the diagonal, because things like flat panels, they get classed in diagonal dimensions. So this time, I want to discover what the diagonal is in relation to the height. So 18.36, the diagonal, is to 9, the height. I don't yet know what the diagonal is, but I know that my height is 44 inches. So again, cross, multiply, and divide here. 18.36 times 44 and then we're going to divide that by 9. So 18.36 times 44 divided by 9. 89.76. Rounded, that's about a 90-inch diagonal display. So I can discover whether I can use a flat panel, I need a 90-inch diagonal, and now I can go take a look at specifications and pricing. We've learned the ratio in a 16 by 9 the diagonal ratio to a 16 by 9, and it was 18.36. What about some of the other aspect ratios that we deal with? What about, let's say, a 16.10? Let's say, how about an old 4 by 3? What is the diagonal relationship to these? Well, earlier what we used was the Pythagorean theorem, and we stepped it out step by step. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we did the step by step. What was the last thing that we did? We used the square root. So, one of the nice things about the TI-30 is we're going to shorten all this up, and we're going to discover what these are. We know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and the last thing we did was the square root. So what I can do here with the TI-30 is I'm going to start with the square root. So I'm going to open up the square root, and you see the parentheses open there. And let's do the 1610 here. 16 squared, that's my width plus 10 squared, and then I'm going to close the parenthesis. We're going to follow PEMDAS here, right? The calculator is going to follow PEMDAS. It's going to do the exponents, the squares, and then it's going to do the addition. All of that within the parenthesis is going to be accomplished, and then it's going to take the square root. So enter, and you can see 18.8679626. Roughly speaking, we can say this is a 18.87 diagonal relationship on the 1610. Let's do the same thing with a 4 by 3. Again, open up the square root, parenthesis is opened up, 4 squared plus 3 squared, close the parenthesis because I need to do all of that before I do the square root, and then I can hit the enter key. Yeah, 5. Some of you would know this is the 4, 5, uh, 3, 4, 5 triangle, rather. Um, let's try a different one. This is a 3840 by 1600, 24 by 10 display I saw the other day. It says it has a 37.5 inch diagonal. So this is a little different aspect ratio, but we can do the same thing that we've been doing before. Uh, it says it's 3840 by 1600, and it's 24 to 10. What is the diagonal relationship to this? The same kind of thing. Start with the square root. So we can do 24, delete, 24 squared plus 10 squared. Close that parenthesis. The diagonal relationship here is a 26. Now that I know that, I can go ahead and figure out the width and the height just like we did before. Okay, so now that Cartoon Time has hipped you to how to calculate aspect ratios for your displays, let me talk to you a little bit on how to calculate your aspect ratio of your resolution. Just like display aspect ratio calculations, I'm going to find that single number by dividing the larger number of the resolution by the smaller number of the resolution. I know, whiteboard, so 1990s. How about this? Okay, let's do some maths. Let's take the resolution of 1920 by 1080. All I need to do is divide 
1920 by 1080. Boom! I get my aspect ratio for that resolution. And I can see it's 1.78 to 1, or a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Let's do one more. I'm going to change the second number of our resolution to 1200. So now, we have a resolution of 1920 by 1200. So, I will divide 1920 by 1200. I come up with 1.6, and I know from doing the math with Cartoon Tom, that's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Okay, so now we know how to calculate the size of an image for a physical space, calculate the width to height to diagonal, and we can figure out what aspect ratio a particular resolution is. Thanks for watching this video on aspect ratio, and thanks also to Cartoon Tom.